Well, actually, it's important because um, I've, I've lost a loved one when it came to cancer. And I recognize that the women have created that link of togetherness regarding the breast cancer. And I thought the men should be able to just come together and do the same. And it's not just coming together. It was more about um, building a gap where so many guys who have been affected, whether it's their uncles, brothers, nephews, cousins, um, they would have somebody to talk to. And I believe that having this race was a, a, the first step in getting together for men. Um, there's also that phobia of having a prostate screen and test done. I wanted the men to realize that, you know, prostate cancer is, is, a, is a danger. It's a killer for us in, in Bermuda, period. And it's important that we get our prostate checked, not just prostate, but all health um, screened and done which can save our lives somewhere along the road. And obviously the race also includes a healthy environment, wouldn't you say? Yes, yes, it does include a healthy environment. Um, running running is, is healthy, obviously, and I'm not sure if many of our, our males and our females know that. Like, when we sit down for long periods, it, it increases your blood sugar levels, um, and which obviously turns into fat. That fat is, it creates a risk for creating any type of cancer. And again, this race is geared towards uh, prostate awareness. Now, our general public doesn't know, there's one in every six male that can be diagnosed with prostate cancer in a lifetime. Um, and according to the American Cancer Society, black men, which is about 60% are more than likely than white men to actually be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime as well. And black males can be diagnosed at a younger age. Um, one of the reasons for, um, for really getting this together is, like we said, we said health, um, togetherness, and, and more important, just support, support during those uh, bad times. And that's why we created this run. Now, although you'll have a finish line and obviously a, a first of all, it's more of a community awareness than it is an actual champion sort of thing? Yeah, it is. It, it's, it's actually both, Earl. It's the community awareness. Um, the race is being held at the Work Academy grounds. And it's, again, it's a 5K. I'll just tell you a little bit about the run. It's a 5K for 14-year-olds and up. And there's a junior race, which is a 2K, which that race will start at Work Academy and commence along Middle Road to Mant Road, to Harbor Road, Morgan Road, and back to the school. However, the 14-year-olds and up adults will run along Middle Road to Valley Road, Harbor Road, and back to the school grounds. Um, there are, and this, this race is also open to walkers. And as I mentioned earlier, if we sit down too long, obviously the fat in our body turns into a dangerous risk for us. So it's welcome to the walkers. And that's what it's a competitive walk race, sorry, a competitive race for walkers as well as non-competitive walkers are more than welcome to participate. And Earl, before I even say anything else, I just want to say um, to all of the participants who who take part. There is a pledge sheet available for those who wish to raise funds which will go towards all male health initiatives, which is being put on by the Bermuda Cancer and Health Center. And I would also like to mention one more thing about the American Cancer Society that relates to cancer. Testicular cancer is also one of the most common cancers in young males. and the ages it affects is astonish astonishing, and the ages are 15 and 35 year olds. However, if if treated and detected early, it obviously can be treated. So that's I think that's an important um, point to to make note of that that young age, 15 to 35 years old. Um, I think it says a lot for what we're trying to do. The awareness goes to the age groups. Now, who are some of the, I guess, top runners uh, out there that have already signed up? Are you aware of any? At this time, I am unaware of any top runner. 
Um, I know one runner who wanted to participate, um, Mr. Jay Donner, but I believe he's unavailable due to either travel or work commitments at this time. Um, I believe, I mean, the, the information has been out there to police officers, um, the schools, um, so I'm hoping that everyone comes and participates, all the local runners who are regular during the race seasons, and there's the free-spirited that just do it for the casual uh, Sunday or evening evening activity that keeps them in shape. Well, Mr. Roberts, um, putting on an event like this uh, must take a lot of help from others within the community. Who are some of the people or some of the organizations that are assisting you to put this on? Well, for starters, it was the Bermuda Canton Health Center who, who um, through Deborah Nare, the marketing manager, she has been a great help to myself. Um, it's Terry Durant from Dove Men Care, which is a uh, branch off from Butterfield and Dallas, and the Axel Group Insurance Company and John Barrett. They have all uh, chipped in and assisted in making this event um, the first ever male 5K in Bermuda to be um, going forward. We'd also like to uh, give a shout out to or assistance from the Work Academy School, and they have allowed us to use the facility um, on the day of the event. So we'd like to thank everybody from Barrett's, Butterfield and Valley's Dove, Nancare, Axel, Bermuda Cancer Health Center, and Work Academy.